Hello, good, well, for a few more seconds, good morning. Uh, how are you doing? This is Els Elizabeth Craft Designs. I am, um, you know, it's still very hot here in Colorado, I have to say. I am very much looking forward to fall, I have to say. So I'm just going to wait till some people come in. I know some people were watching Marga uh, just now because she was working with uh, the Splendid Seasons collection from Annette as well, which I'm going to do. Hi, Andrea. And I am going to combine it with, um, with the pizza boxes because I, you know, the pizza boxes, I saw them passing. I think Esther showed them again this week for something. And I have to say, I just checked and we still have them in stock, but when they are gone, they are gone. So if you don't have the pizza box yet, you honestly should get it because it is fun. I cut them out of the, here, let me show you before I turn the camera around. Hi, Michelle. Oh, Michelle, are you back home? Oh, yeah. So Michelle's mom, I don't know if you follow uh, everything Scrabble and more, but uh, Michelle uh, went to Flo uh, Florida to get, well, she's in Florida. But to help her mom. So these are the pizza boxes. I cut out of the brights and the pastels. I don't know exactly if it's all the brights or that's a pastel. I don't know. I didn't check that. I just have them together. But these are uh, four pizza boxes. And those are so much fun to make. You get four pizza boxes out of one sheet. So, uh, and I think they are fantastic. Hi, Joe. I cannot see all the comments. Let me see. Because it's hi, Dimfna. So I see a lot of people coming in. Uh, I know. You need to have the pizza box. Honestly, you need to have the pizza box. But um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn my camera around and then get started. And I can show you what I'm going to do. Because I have lots of fun stuff on my table. It's just, you know, not enough time in the day. I can craft like 24-7, I have to say. Because you have such great collections. Another one is coming on Monday. It's a smaller one. It's from Anya. It's four stem sets and four die sets, which are fabulous as well. So we'll go for a little sneak uh, for that one. But let me turn my camera around first, and then I need to change my stand. I need to get that whole thing going with the uh, with the stream deck. But it's not there yet. But hey, it's coming. It will come. Here you go. You know, it's only a few seconds. For me to turn my camera around so it's not the end of the world here we go and then i'm going to turn my ipad so i can see the comments there oh no my ipad isn't turning which is strange do i have it on not oh i have it on not turn then it makes sense eh? then it makes sense here we go oh my goodness don't allow facebook here we go that took a little while. That's why you need to have that whole Stream Deck thing coming up. I don't know if Joseph is here, but Joseph, at one point, I need you to come over. So it is a beautiful Friday. There we go. I need to get it all down a bit. Here we go. So I have all that. I have too much fun stuff here. Too much fun stuff. And uh, so I've got this, got this. Oh, I stamped this. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. But I just love it. I forgot to put my paper sheet on, you see? So you have my desk here. Shall I turn the lights away? No, that's not bright enough then, eh? What if I turn this on as well? Because I don't like the sight of the lights on the table. But hey, you see, I forgot to put my uh, paper sheet on. So I stamp these from Annette. Look at that. That is just cool. That is just cool. Hi, Teresa. I know. I know, David. You need to come over and help. Wait. Let me... Uh, I should, if I turn those lights away, that's too dark. Is this too dark? Because I, well, you know, whatever. It's lights on the table. Next time I will, uh, I actually have a paper ready to be printed. I just need to find the time to go there and have that, ask them how they can do that, how they can help me. But it's light and bright. Now I'm going to close them. Wait, let me see how it is when I close them. Just want to see if I close my lights. Uh, 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 uh. And then I have one more. I think we can do without, can't we? I think we can do without. Closing the last one here. I think we are fine like that. Oh yeah, I like that much better. Okay, no glare on the table. And it's bright enough. Uh, so happy Friday. Yes, happy Friday. I know. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, Michelle, uh, stop, stop to... Oh, stop me as well. Yeah, you need help. I know, uh, Michelle. Michelle, what do you have? There's something going on tomorrow. Uh, at Michelle's store, like a craft along or...
because uh, her mom needs some help. And you know, it's uh, there's lots going on at the moment. You know, it's there's yeah, the weather is just you know, people in Hawaii, people in Florida, people in Canada. You know, the place is burning down. It is not good. It is not good. Yeah. Okay. So what do I do? So I'm working with the splendid season. And uh, hi Diane, hi Linda, and um, let me show you first because I'm first going to show you. So I'm going to do pizza boxes, but I'm also going, to, you know, and I might up doing something else. You know, never know with me. This is my full TN that I have here, my full TN, and uh, so I did some stuff in there already with the new collection because I have all kind of things full, and some things are on sale. So make sure to check it out because honestly, there are some great deals because we have some, uh, you know some cool stuff but you see that's all the fall and i'm working on that so i added some pictures. i lo still love our scarecrow i have to say love that so this is from annette so i did a little pocket from david's line i think a little tag there so that's october 29 22 you know me yeah? i just print pictures when i like them and just shovel them in in my planner or in my sidekick that's just you know i, I wrote the date on there then this is a little sneak peek from what's coming i love this that's a little sneak peek. And then, da, 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 love it. You know, this is one of my favorite books. I have so many fun stuff, fun stuff, fun stuff. Another scarecrow in here. Let me see, let me see. Because I know, oh, here, this one. So I'm going to put pictures in there with, uh, uh, from Tom and Annika. From, uh, when I, but I don't know how I'm going to map them. If I make them smaller or just uh, print a frame around it. So uh, I'm going to see, so that's from last year's pumpkin carving. And then those are the pumpkins from Annette. These are those little things I found on the, you know, they're actually hanging in the tree. So I took them out of the tree. You know, I like that. Uh, look at that. So you have so much fun. So another pocket here using the paper, the new paper. And then, oh, these are the leaves from last year. And I know people asked last year, will they stay? They actually did, you see? So those are real leaves that I stuck on tape and then I added glitter and embossing powder. So that actually still looks the same. So that is that stays perfectly fine. And then here I have a, a, a page with the uh, with the mushrooms from Annette. And these ones are actually colored with um, using the Olo markers. And I want to use a little bit of Olo today as well because I'm kind of, uh, you know, just... Uh, trying to work with that learning 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 and then um about pizza box oh i got these two here because i just for the people that don't have the pizza box yet this is your, going to be your last chance because they're not coming back don't ask oh can you bring back the pizza box no we can't so it's a now and everything but uh we still have some but uh i still love the b1 from annette and then this little b1 that uh s that uh, anita collage so i put him on a pizza box or her Super cute. These are actually both these I have on display in my room because some I just put on display. And then for the leaves, because I'm really longing for fall, I'm not joking. I am done with summer. And um, so what I did yesterday, and don't ask me what I'm going to do with it, but um, I did stick two leaves that I uh, because I picked them up and then they uh, crumbled, of course, when I put them inside, they dried up. And then I just stick them to the tape. So they're there. And I might put glitter around it or um, embossing part. I have no idea. But I just roll them up in here. And they're sitting here in my tape in my tape roll. And I'm going to do something with that. You know what I did already as well? Oh, you know. I, you know I, nature here around me is just amazing. So I picked up some really nice pine coats. You see they open up now because of the sun. They open up really nicely. And I put that snow stuff on there. And I can see uh, myself putting some florals on there. But, you know, that's coming. That's coming. So that's kind of how my mind rolls. And I see something and I think, oh, wow, they're open so nicely now. Because when you get into the wet season, I don't think they open that nicely. So I have a bag of pine cones already. I, honestly, I think I have a bag of pine cones in my storage downstairs somewhere. Like in a, I don't know. But, um, yeah, that's just what I do. That's just what I do. Uh, okay, so what I am going to do, because I, Femke, I think, was talking, so I heard the word embossing powder, clear embossing powder, embossing powder, and I thought, okay, um, no, not clear embossing powder, but this one, if I, that's that 
if I lay that underneath here and I put embossing powder on the white one, how would that look? So I'm going to do that. And I know I have no idea in what connection Femke mentioned uh, embossing powder, but I am going to do it uh, using this one. Oh, then I need to, oh, I have my first fine here. You see, I've got that. And um, hear about all this to collect brown. Oh, Belinda, we had, you know, that's, that's what happened here. We had a lot of, uh, we had a lot of uh, rain the whole season. So that's why it's still so nice and bright and uh, green here. It really makes a difference. Hi, Femke. I was just talking about you, Femke, that I, you said the word Versa Mark, I think, or clear embossing powder. I don't know. I'm not going to do clear embossing powder. That was during the live from Marga. Marga just made white on white cards using this collection, the Splendid Season collection from uh, Annette. Oh, and before I forget to say, Annette will be on Creating Craft on Sunday the 3rd, so upcoming Sunday, at 7 and 8 p.m. UK time with the collection. So uh, Sunday, uh, 7 and 8 p.m., so two hours in a row with the Splendid Season collection. So she will just have time to pee in between. <laughs> that is that is fast. No, you have a few minutes in between. That's fine. Okay, so this is a kind of a... I heard something and I'm going to try something. Maybe it's not going to work at all. And then it's fine as well, because it's only a piece of paper. Huh? That's how we roll here. Okay, this way. Day by day. Patricia, that will be somewhere in September. We're waiting for the paper here to arrive. So, um, I don't know if the dyes are in as well. But uh, mid, I, I, I'm hoping mid-September. And what color do I have here? I have leaf green. And it all fits so nicely. There's a lot of powder. Oh, but I just cover it because I need to throw it back anyway. So, whatever. And then I take my tweezer. And then I am sure it was covered. Oh, yeah, I said white embossing, clear and hologram. White, white. Oh, white and white. Yeah, I heard Marga say, and I agree with Marga. So, um, you either, I either have, she used all the same white paper. I hope it was soft finish, but I did not see the start. But, um, but I agree with you. either use all the same white paper. But I also like white on white where you do all different ones. But don't do like a little bit different. Like, um, you see, so here I think that it will be nice. So it doesn't pick up everywhere. But I think, uh, oh, else. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what you see on the black table. That's a mess. That's a mess. And now I touch it. Now it doesn't, why doesn't it hold anymore? But I'm going to emboss this and maybe I need to do it again. Just a second. Just a second. But that's a mess. That's where you have no, where you have no paper. That's not good. You need to have paper on your table so you don't see all the mess. And this might be okay to, because it's going to go underneath there. So I am as um, anxious to see. No, no soft finish. Oh, uh, uh, oh, I need to talk to Marga. Marga, are you here already? No, that's fine, of course. But I like the soft finish myself because it has a texture. So it has the texture to it, and I like the texture from the soft finish. So I would, if I would choose one, it would be soft finish for me. But hey, Marga can do whatever she wants, of course. And whatever she likes. Okay, this is actually nice. So it doesn't pick up everywhere, which is totally fine. Look at that. I like that. Oh, wait, I didn't uh, heat it here. I did not heat it here yet. That did not, that's actually a big blob of embossing powder there. Oh, there you go. It's going. It's going. So this afternoon, we're going to pick up Brooksy. Brooks. Because we're going to babysit, which is fun. Okay, so now I have this. Because my idea was, if I put this over, kind of offset it a little bit, would that be nice? And that is really nice. I like that. I like that. So I'm going to do that. And then I had another idea. Because all the characters from Josette fit really well. But I don't know if I'm going to glue down right away. But I want to show it to you. Because this fits really well. All the characters from Josette fit really well on the boxes. But I'm going to focus on uh, the first two things from Annette. And then 
if I, you know, if I don't use the green box, I will just put that um, uh, that grasshopper on there. Because grasshoppers, you know, they can kind of uh, disappear in the grass. So when you just put this one on the uh, the bright or the pastel paper, look how cool that is. And you know, we got Halloween again, so I thought, oh, we all need those boxes. So that is cool. But uh, let I'm, I'm just going to glue this on here because we were talking with Annette when Annette was live about how that fits you know and i it actually matches nicer on my you know on my in front of me than it looks on the screen so i'm just going to put a little bit of glue there because i want to tuck some of the leaves underneath there as well uh, some of the extra leaves so that's why i only do a few um. I need to put my chair up a little bit because I am a little bit too far away from it. You see, because if you don't glue it down all the way, you also get the dimension right away. And I like that. So uh, this is enough. Sorry, I'm just putting my chair up a bit. Much better, much better. Um, yeah, it's a perfect fit. It is a perfect fit. So you can see this in full colors. And, uh, and then this is the paper. This is actually from the... Um, uh, from this is this the inside of this one or is this no this is from the brides then and this is the green from the pastels so it is a light green so that's the other side but I, ch I choose to do the light one although this one would have been nice as well but I did die cut it this way so I, I keep it this way and I'm going to put a little bit of glue here also the same so just on a few spots yeah Angelica does a fantastic job designing and I can and ask me for a um, because I have a super cute sneak peek to show you from uh, Anya's collection as well. We have so much fun stuff coming at least till the end of November. At least till the end of November, I think. This is nice. That is nice. And then I have some of those extra leaves here, and I cut those out of the green as well. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm just going to. Tuck a few there, otherwise I forget to do that. Oops, some glue. Put my pin in. Thank you, Suzanne. It's hard for me to see the comments. I'm closer to my work uh, today. Let me lower my uh, iPad a little bit so I can see your comments a bit better. Because I cannot see it, and I don't think it's in the way. Is it in the way? No, it's not. Okay, now I can see your uh, comments. For the class, for the, what do you mean for the class? Oh my goodness, there's so much going on at Elizabeth. Oh, 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 did I not stick that down well? Or does it not stick on the, no, it will stick. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, just dip this in and I want to kind of tuck it underneath there. So it's kind of, you know, it sticks in the wreath. And I love these, and I could edge these a little bit if I want to, but. And these are just a tiny bit darker because I think I cut this from the side because the brights and the pastels, you have some, uh, um, some darker glow on the sides. And that's what I love about the paper as well. I said it's such a staple in my craft collection now. Love, love, love it. And again, we have beautiful papers. And, um, yeah, check it out. Check it out. But uh, if you missed it, I told people the pizza box, we're on the last run of the pizza box. So if you don't have it yet, get it now. We have that special going on as well for Labor Day here. And, of course, also check out, uh, the, for the collection from Annette, check out your favorite stores. And check out everything scrapbook and stamps uh, because I know is it on your page, um, um, Michelle? What we're going to do tomorrow? But I cannot be there live because we are babysitting Brooks and six. It's six thirty here, and six thirty will be around the time he will wake us up. So I will be awake, but I will be busy with Brooks. See, look at that—the dimension that you get. So you can see, I I choose to do it in the bright colors now 
but you can imagine this in the fall colors is just fantastic and basically you know you can put one of those sayings in there from Annette and then you are done you're basically done then you have a beautiful wreath you see but I'm just going to so I'm going to do this and then I'm going to see what I'm going to add to it because I'm just going to make some of her things like uh, because I have the owl as well so maybe I'll make the owl but um, I know um, Hmm, am I done already? Am I done? Huh, maybe I am. Look at that. You see the dimension? Just by sticking those underneath there. And you know what I could do? I could stick some really underneath. I know, that's a, yeah, a mushroom. That's what I'm thinking as well, maybe. Yeah, you can also stick them on the side, of course. But, you know, I don't think... No, I don't think it needs it. I think I'm good. I'm good with the leaf. So that is... But you can imagine if you put one of those sayings in there, and I have the uh, packaging here. Uh, so the owls, you put the owl in there, but if you put one of, like those those in there, with the uh, with the words in there, and then with the matching dye, these ones, that will be really pretty as well. That will be really pretty as well. So lots and lots of possibilities. But this is just, you know, si a simple, but it makes a great present. I am... While I'm doing this, I'm going to put this in the jar because that can go extremely wrong next to me. Just putting that back into the jar, which is growing on me. You see, that's always with uh, embossing powder. It grows on you the first. Thank you, Els. Yeah, it is really pretty. I have to say, it's really pretty. Okay, that's safe. Safe. Okay, then... Um, so I'm, I want to color uh, the mushroom first. That I have here, that, and then there's another little piece for the bottom. And I have some grass, but it comes with a little piece of grass. But I also cut a grass from Josette's uh, edges, because that will be nice as well, of course, with the pumpkins and um, so that. Did you see this? I love this, because, you know, it's, it's in the Christmas stamp sets. But then I thought I can do that in Halloween colors as well. I know, Femke, I am, that's what I say, and I, when we walk the dogs, the dogs are actually back home now with Mark and Danielle, but when I, we walk the dogs this week, I said to you, oh, I can smell fall, I am so ready, because then the, when the leaves are turning, you know, it starts to smell, and I, I love the smell of fall, am I nuts, probably, maybe, I don't know, but I just love fall, yeah, got those, okay, so what I did with this one, so I actually colored this with the, uh, let me show you what I have here in the back, the back of my book. I, um, here, you see, I colored this with the, with the Olos. And I was really kind of trying things. And in this one, I actually took the pieces, so I cut this again. I'm not doing that today, but I cut this again on tape, and then I put those little pieces back in. So you have some dimension, you know. Well, yes, for sure, but not because you love fall. David, David, be nice to me. Hey, be nice to me. <laughs> but you're right. You know, I always say, you know, a little bit crazy is an excuse for a lot of stupid things I do. But, you know, hey. Okay, so, uh, Olos. So, this is the R17. I finally got my box because, you know, I when I uh, bought all the Olos, I uh, forgot to order the box. So, uh, they sent me the box, but here, you see, I got them all in here. Yips, doesn't fit all but. And they all have two colors. So um, this one is, and it comes with a nice color chart I have here. So now I'm using these two, uh, R05 and R06. And I saw Lori from Olo. She is on a cruise. Well, not she's not from Olo, but she works with Olo's, but uh, she works for the company. And again, I am not an expert in coloring whatsoever. So if you see me color, you probably think, wow, I've seen somebody else doing that better. That is probably true. That is probably true. But hey, we're all a beginner at one point. And um, but at least I got some shading now. So, um, and this is the soft finish with um, tape on the back. See, that's that part. A little bit more, needs to shade a little bit more here. But I'll have a little bit of darker on the sides. Because I liked that bright red color in this case. So that's that. 
Then I uh, did for the, I have no idea what I did. Oh, I need to, you know, I'm going to do two right away because I think I want to. Did I? Yes, I did use that one. No. Yeah. R06. Oh, did I use? I don't know if I used this one. I think I did. Did I? Yes, I did. So again, a little bit red here. Yeah, no, I know. You know, at the end it's always fine, but sometimes I did like too many layers because um, I don't love fall, but I do love. The, who doesn't love Rihanna? You don't. You don't love fall, Rihanna. <gasps> Oh, I cannot understand that. It's weird, eh? How people love different things. I cannot understand. Did I use a different color? I used a different color here. Yeah. I use these ones. Okay, you don't love fall? Rihanna. Oh my, that's my favorite season. No, winter. I don't know. Beginning of summer is nice, but when it's so hot, like it was, it's still hot here. That is just too hot. I don't like that. You know, it's too hot to be outside. You know, at night it's nice. You see, I use different colors. So you, I used one five and one seven. That's that's what I used on the other one, I think. There you go. Okay, so two chops ready. Then what did I use for the? I think I went to this these colors. Why is O two five? Why? Oh, uh, two, five, and two, three. That's on this one. Uh, 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 other sides. So I need this piece and this piece and this piece and this piece. Shall I do two right away as well? I might not do as much shading on that. So these. I use those for the so light color first. Or did I use a really light one? I think I use this first. So I'm going to start with this, which is... Y O two two. Pretty sure I did that first. So you color this part because the red is going to be over there. Then this is basically going to be covered with the other one, and then you do the stem. Do the same here. It looks too too yellowish, but it's really good. That's oh, and then you do this as well. The only thing you need to watch with your when you work with your owner is that you um, that I hold the finger like to hold it down with one finger that has not no red on it, or my or use my tweezer that would would be better. But um, that's do, 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 do. and the pumpkins I have here I actually did with the olos as well. I've really been kind of practicing, which is fun because that's how you learn eh, by practicing. And I never got into the Copics practicing. <laughs> So I thought, now I have those, I'm really going to work with it and try how it works. What's the name of the markers? Olo markers. And I know in the Netherlands, I know, I don't, in, the, in the US a lot of people have them, a lot of stores, I think. In the, in the, um, in the Netherlands, I know Marloes has them, but probably more stores. A little bit on the side here. A little bit on the side here. So some darker color. You see, it hardly shows, but it is there. And I think I went back in with a um, with an even lighter color to, to blend it. Let me see. I'm pretty sure I did. Why? Oh. What is on here? Why? Oh, two, two. Where is my... Oh, it is the lightest one. Y022 is the light one. Okay, that is the lightest one. Did I use that already? Yeah, that's the light. Okay, so I go back with that. Kind of blend in that dark color. So you see a little bit of shading. By adding a second layer, kind of it makes it a little bit darker. But you see that shading on the side there. That's... And then if you want to, you can even take a little bit darker to go on the... What is David saying? Does he need to go in the corner? What is he saying? <laughs> what is David saying? Oh, my brain played a trick on me. That looks like a... What? 
Oh. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, we're there, we're there. Well, it's Friday. It's Friday. <laughs> I'm going to put it this way. I'm going to put it this way. Dee -dee -dee -dee. Okay. Just a little bit darker color on the sides. But then I feel the need that I need to blend that in a little bit, which I'm going to do again with that lightest color. You see, it's good that I don't read all the comments because. Uh, see, clean it. So just kind of make it a little bit, uh, blend it in a little bit. So if you go over it, you see here is my red finger. That's the only thing you need to watch that you don't. Blend it in. This one, blend it in, because I don't want that. Uh, I don't want that uh, start like that, like the darker line there. So I don't want that. There's red there. You see, I, there's no red on my pinky. Okay. There we go. I should watch the comments uh, more. But I'm focused on coloring. Okay, where are we? So a dirty mind is a joy forever. Oh, is that so? <laughs> is that so, uh, Rihanna? I guess, hey, we need to be happy, yeah? Now I see I did not do a perfect job on the blending there. Just going to add a little bit of the wrong color there. Did I just mess this up? I think I did. Well, you see, I used the wrong color. David, I blame it all on you. I blame it all on you. But that's fine because not every mushroom is the same. Huh? Not every mushroom is the same. Yeah, and then um, Anya has that stem. Yeah, it's a... So the collection from Anya is called Fables and Fairy Tales. So that will be Monday. And I made some really nice... Do I see white there? Oh, no, there's the paper underneath. I think I'm fine. But I'm going to blend a little bit more with a lighter color. Is that the lighter color? Yeah. Because I see lines. I don't like to see lines. Do, 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 do. There. That one is good. Is this one good as well? Yeah. Okay. So now I'm going to put them together. Get rid of this. So I'm first going to put these pieces on. Oh, did I just drop one? No. My, my, my. It's one of those days. I know we can. You know we need a laugh. We need a laugh. Oh, too many things going on. Today is, by the way, is, is, well, the month is here. I need to mention that because I have a neighbor here that struggles with that. It's September here in, uh, well, I think it's worldwide. It's ovarian cancer awareness, ovarian cancer awareness. And um, so we need to mention it because be aware, be aware. And I have a fantastic neighbor here. And she actually does not live in the house at the moment, but um, who is struggling with that and fighting it and so graciously and strong. And so it's uh, impressive, I have to say. Impressive how people, you know, fight for their life. And I have to say, she was elected last week, and she bought herself a Porsche. <laughs> she, she, she said, I, you know, she bought herself a Porsche. <laughs> and I said, go for it. <laughs> go for it. Enjoy life. My Abelina, she is a fighter. She is a fighter. For sure. But way too young for stuff like that. It's also childhood cancer awareness. Yeah, you know. It's, oh, did I? Oh, 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 oh. Did I color where the dots are? Or did I leave that alone? I sure hope so. I did not watch that as well. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Just about. Just about. 
How cool is that? I just love that. Oh, here I went up too high, I think. I went up too high. Okay, let me show you then what I did with the other ones. I did not, you see, I'm talking too much. Because now I see yellow through there. Kind of the... Okay, so I am going to do that, what I did with the other ones. And I will show, because I actually like that. So I can take my small, because most of the things from uh, Annette go through the small one. Which I like. Do I have a piece of... No, 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 no. Is this with tape? It is with tape. Okay. So I am going to show you what I did with the other one. Because I actually like that, you know, and it's it's a little bit more time consuming, but I like those little thingies that, you know, gives it more, gives it more. Kind of, does this fit? Oh, yeah, okay. I have one piece. The other one I is good without, but I will do that later. So I just run this through my little sidekick here. It, the piece of uh, tape has cost. And what I like about this, because the small one that I can just... Um, roll it through and then uh, sit just stay sitting here okay so there are some pieces that are stuck in here so that's fine because I know where they need to go so this goes here and then you get that uh, little bit of dimension and you know it's fiddly but it's easy it is easy you see it's not and then it just gives it a little bit more dimension And of course, then you have that other piece again to color, so it's not a waste of uh, something. And then these ones, you see, I just know where they're going, so I'm just picking them up like this with my fingers. Easy peasy, because there's tape on the back, so they're very easy to fill in. But that, that's that's just a little detail that I, you know, that I like, because you know when you see those mushrooms, they actually have a little bit of. Uh, um, dimension oh you like comment and share of course like comment and share and for the people that missed it Annette will be on creative crafts and I know she's working on great samples for that as well with this collection on um, Sunday 7 and 8 p.m. UK time so 7 is actually 12 here mountain, mountain standard and I know Annette posted about it herself as well you see, so I will do the same with that one. Oh, I should have done that one because that one is actually the one with uh, the, uh, I don't have another piece. No, I don't do that now. I can show that to you later. Is this, would this cut it? Let me see. No, no, not. Okay, I'll just leave it. I'll put this back before I forget. And of course, you can go in with the white gel pen as well. Does it work? Let me see. Does that work? Because this is not the stress ink. So if you go in with a white gel pen, it actually is nice as well. But then it's not dimension, but it does look a little bit different. It, it looks like it's not perfect as well, and that's what it needs to be. Yeah. But that's what Annette did with her um, with her die already. That like the dots are not perfect circles or ovals or, and that's how it's how it is in real as well. Okay, that works as well. This would not work if you would have used distress ink because distress ink will um, uh, will kind of dissolve in the in the white gel pen. Fun, fun, fun. Yeah, Femke, they are really nice. Okay, that's done. So now the question is, you see, so, but I'm going to go, uh, I'm not going to do anything yet. I'm going to color a little bit more, but this would be really nice in here already as well. You see, and then with a little bit of grass at the bottom, but I think I want to use with this one, I think I want to use the, um, the owl. Uh, but let me, you know, I have that owl here, and I'll tell you, this will be the first owl I am creating. So I have all the pieces. I put double-sided adhesive on this one, this one, this one, and this one. This is the only one that does not have double-sided adhesive. So I want to keep the colors light. And uh, what I do when I do things like this, uh, especially for the first time, I take the packaging and you kind of look how it's put together. Although I think, yeah, Annette uses the back there as well. She did watercoloring. And um, I know, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, absolutely worth the extra first and I, you know I, you probably can see it when i lift it up you can see can you see it the dimension a little bit i think you can see it can you see it let me see i don't know but it's there it's there it's there it's there okay so um 
I was going to do kind of a brown tone. So this is basically going to be, uh, this is the cover for this one. And then I'm going to take this out. So this is double sided adhesive on the back. So I'm going to take this part out because it's going to be a different color. Because then it stands out, of course. Or just a lighter tone of the same one. You see dimension? Thank you, Amanda. You see, so this one, so this is going to be the darks. What am, I have vintage photo here. Is the, yeah, that's nice. I think that's nice. Okay, so I'm just going to do the edge of this one because this is going to be on top of that. So I don't want to see a white edge. So I'm just going to edge this. <laughs> and don't mess it up else because 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 so i'm going to edge this a little bit as well and i can do that at the end as well but and just and of course this will have a cover as well so the center will be covered so i just need to go in and of course this is a soft finish cardstock Mm -hmm. And I love the detail that uh, Annette, like the same as her bird, of course, what she put in there. Uh, 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 uh. A little bit darker, I'm going to put a little bit darker here. Oh, that's nice. Then you need to see how much this will cover. Like that. Oh, higher, 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 like that. Like that, like that. So is that, I'm going to put a little bit more ink there. I find the sequence work well. What brand is yeah. Oh, you know, I'm absolutely in favor. You know, I, I, you know, if you follow me for a long time, you know, I worked for this company for about 10 years in Europe. Uh, the Jelly Roll, uh, number 10, this is the number 10. So that's a thicker point. Uh, so that's a thicker, and then I have the 8 and the 5. That I know there's a, a mix set as well. So this is the point 8. You see the difference there. So this is a thicker point than this one. I love this, and um, I happen to know a little bit of technical information. If you buy a cheap gel pen, and they stop, because a lot of times they stop, like the regular ones, and then um, that is because uh, of the system that's in there. The uh, Sakura pens have a twin ball system, so there's a ball here, and there's a ball behind it, and it kind of rolls the ink out. So that's so it's a twin ball system. So yeah, you have this one in the Netherlands for sure, for sure. So it's from Sakura, Sakura. And I know there's a mix set, or the stores sell them separately. And uh, but I I uh, like for edging. I like the ten because it's a little bit thicker. And then you see it like nicely. Okay. Oh, now I went on this. Oh, you know, then I'm going to decide to just dab this with the same color, but light. That's perfect. Okay, so this goes on this one. And how I line these things up. Stephanie, uh, if, if a gel pen stops, it's hard to get it going. Uh, the old trick under your shoe. Uh, tap a little bit if you have a you know a, a small tap but I have to say and that's that's I'm talking here about that white gel pen because Sakura had also has the uh, the moonlight moonlight will always work the one that can stop eventually if you don't use them on a regular base are the glaze and the, because the, that's a kind of a, a, a almost oh how that is so pretty else that came out really nice Oh, nice, nice, nice. Um, no, so it's nice when it, things turn out as you want them to be. So this one, am I going to stick with the same colors or am I going, no, I'm going to go tea dye here, I think. Uh, I'm going to use the same paper, so I may, might pick up a little bit from the, um, but um, yeah, Sakura is just, a, you know, it's Japanese and a lot of inks that are coming from Japan. Are, Japan is just really good with inks. That is their specialty. You see, because there was brown there, I picked it up on the side a little bit. And I am fine with that. Otherwise, I should have cleaned my paper, which I decided not to do on purpose. Oh, this I didn't need to color the whole way because that's going on here. Let me put that on there already. Did I do all the sides? Yeah. Okay. 
That's why our watercolors, for instance, are from Japan as well. So high pigment, and you see, there's just a, there's just a difference in. So this is going, I guess, like this. Am I correct? Yes, I am correct. And this one, so what I'm going to do again, I'm going to take out those pieces that are glued in there because I want to have a different shading on that and because that has tape on it, it's just easy to separate. Yeah, yeah, Zeek, yeah, Zeek is Japan as well, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Femke, yeah, but really, did you ever try Sakura? Because honestly, they are really good. But again, if you have the, you know, uh, Moonlight is, um, do I have those here? Yeah, I have those here. And, uh, and I know I told you before as well, you can watercolor with those as well. Because gel is water based, so I did a lot of watercoloring with uh, the with the metallics, with the stardust, with the. Okay, the stats. So this is going on here. And I think I want to put those pieces back in there as well, but just a little tap of the tea dye. So just a little tap that it's not getting too dark. Tea dye. Oh my, is it a quarter? My goodies, a quarter to one already? What did I do? What did I do? You see, because that's when you take them out, you get a different shading on there. You see, and that I, that's, it stands out. And that is just way nicer than when you give them the complete uh, same color. That's that one. Now we need these. Am I going to color those? Maybe I'll take a Olo for that. Because, uh, you know, when you do the ink with the stress ink, when it's stuck on tape, like it doesn't catch the edges. And I think if I use an Olo, that it will do that. But I don't want it to be too dark. Let me see, let me see. But a little bit darker, of course. I can have that one. I'm going to try that mocha color. No, I need to go a little bit darker, that one. The coffee, OR38. Can I find it easily? If my system is correct. Yay. Yay. 38. Or do we want to have some things lighter than the other? Annette has the eyes lighter than the, okay. So Annette has this lighter. You see, because it sinks in that, um, so it sinks next to the, you see, because this, and then the, and these are new, so I need to be careful that, yeah, oh, that's perfect. That's going to be good. See a little bit difference. Is Annette here? I did. Is Annette here? I don't know. She's probably taking some uh, time out. Am I seeing a clock with wings? A clock with a cuckoo's clock with wings? We have a cuckoo's clock here, but it's never on again because every time um, Brooks comes, he wants to hear the cuckoo. And then, um, then it's off like it's off. So, and I have a cuckoo clock that dances and does the whole looking at the sample here from Annette. What she does is she puts it here. That's actually good. I need to put something white underneath there so you can see better. Mm -hmm. uh, the paws are going da 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 here. We'll just say a little bit more here, eh? yeah. But if I am sticking them to the top layer, because I if I want to have that branch underneath, I'm going to see where I place it. Hi, Debbie. Thank you for being here. And of course, like, comment, and share. And on Monday, I will be here. 
with the new collect. Oh, it's getting dark now here. Is it getting dark? Oh, you don't see it. It's dark now here. The sun is gone. It's dark in my craft room. Why turn the light on? Because it's actually really dark. Do, 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 do. You don't probably don't see it, but I see it. Da 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 da. -da. And I. And an eye. And I might give it a little um, white dots. Let's see how that looks. Oh. There he is. There he is. All put together. I have the eight here. Da 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 da. No, I want the ten. That's a little bit bigger. Let's get this one. Get it started. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to like it, so I'm going to be careful. No, he looks mad now. Uh, I'm going to leave it. Maybe it needs a little black dot in there. Oh no, I like that. I like that. Okay, this that. Let's see, where am I? Does he fit in this one? I have the little branch as well. Yeah, but it needs to branch. You see, he needs to branch. He needs to branch. But it actually colors nicely there. So I like that. Uh, but I have the branch here. That's the branch. And then it comes with a few little leaves. So I'm going to add that. Uh, 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 uh. Thank you. This is fun to make, for sure. Shall I do frayed burlap for the branch? Yeah, let's do that. A little bit of different color there. Oh, no, I don't like that for the branch. So what I'm going, I'm going to make the frayed burlap and then I'm going to go over with the vintage photo because then it will still give it a different look because I have two uh, layers of colors there. Oh, don't whistle else. Don't whistle. Sit on the branch. Let's see if I want to do the leaves as well. And because there is a little bit of uh, adhesive under there, so I can kind of place it there. And then I can just stuck it. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue here. Yeah, that's really from a net. Yeah. And I'm going to do it with red berries as well. Oh, I did not put my needle back. Thank you, Sylvia. And of course, we have the sale, uh, the Labor Day sale. Uh, and it's, the code is LABOR23. Oh my goodness, my needle is. I need a new needle. But I cannot get rid of this one because this is such a nice one. But it's bended. Let me see if I got it open. My needle is bended. Yeah. So I need to straighten it out. Straighten it out. I just refilled my bottle here from the larger bottle. Yep. Yeah. And there. Not too much. And then it will. I might need to put a little bit of glue under the owl as well. Let me do that right away. And I'm going to put a, a little piece of foam tape there. because So he's elevated a bit. Yeah, so Labor 23 for 15% discount on everything online, also on the sales section. And we put a lot in the sales section, added a lot, because some things just need to go. Because we have so much fun stuff. Here. Oh, wait, I need to see if it's straight. Oh my, that is fun. Oh, wait, 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 wait. See, so I glue it down here, and I have foam tape here, so it's really elevated, which gives it really nice dimension. 
Yeah, Michelle has everything in stock. And of course, uh, for the new things, support, uh, Michelle can use some extra help right now. And if it's not for Michelle, it's for her mother. But um, that's one, of course, Michelle and the mama one. That is... Okay, I love that. How do you... I like that. That is actually super cool. So, and I do have... Um, no, I don't need those extra leaves there. I think this is cool as it is. I like the kind of toned down. Uh, you see, I love the color combination there. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, that's that one. So am I going to do something else quickly? I have... Uh, ba, 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 ba. You see, my first idea was that I'm going to do the mushrooms on the... But now I did not do that. You know, I, want, I basically want that all in my... Um, so I have this box... And I have those pumpkins, but then, you know, that needs to go in a green box or a blue box. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I also have the frame, like this one from the paper. And, oh, I do that. And then I'm going to play with this, with these two. But I, I will add uh, more later. I'm going to add the grass. How long is this one? That is not long enough. But this is actually super. I like that as well. <laughs> okay, let me see. I'm going to color some grass. I'm going to color a fern because I can do that in not too long. Let me see. So I'm going to use peel paint for that one. Peel paint for that one. So I'm going to go from the middle to the side. So the you see, so I kind of hold my uh, dauber in an angle. Oh, pompuna are always nice. They're in my TN already. And I know I have a sidekick at the office that is still packed. That has all the fall stuff in there as well. Because you know me, I... Uh, I am kind of an all over the place uh, journaler and because I just like to play with stuff when I'm, you know, feeling to it. So I have, and then as long as I keep track of my pictures that I mention the dates, it's always nice to go through there. Even if there's four years in a row in there, that is all fine for me. Is it time already? It's almost time. I will have this done quickly. You see, so that is nice already. I, I, I like the, you see, the variega variegation there of color. That's that. I think I'm going to use the plaid on there. This one I'm going to etch quickly with a little bit of orange. So this is also from the um, paper pads. I'm just, I'm doing it just on the side here, so I'm not going to do this. I just want to have a line here. Oh, you do a flippy floppy uh, Femke post it, eh? That will be fun. Share it. Share it, share it, share it. And I do um, place the dinner strips. Yeah, maybe, I, I don't know. I, you know, I might work, I, I need, like, right now, so I'm actually going to finish everything tonight, because I am going to the office, I'm going to meet Anya there, and then, um, this way, or this way, this way. And then I am going to um, pick up Brooks, or you and myself are going to pick up Brooks from school. And then it's busy, 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 till Brooks is in bed. So... I love, love, love the paper. I think I keep repeating myself, but I really do. Okay. Now this one is going on. For this one, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue here. doesn't need more. Just a tiny bit of glue in the center. Dab it off so it doesn't... There. 
And then I'm going to put the mushroom. I'm going to put some uh, 3D foam here. So that comes up a little bit. And then I will give you a little sneaky peeky of... Uh, I made some ATC cards. I'm going to show you one for Monday for the new release. Because I am having too much fun here. Too much fun. And all the leaves that come with the sets from Annette are so great as well. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make this one a little bit shorter by removing this. I did it one with the ones in my uh, journal as well. Here, put some glue here and just put this back so they're not the same height. I actually like this. So I can do grass, I can put it here. Now I'm going to put a little bit lighter, uh, uh, lower. And then I like one of the words there as well, but uh, I'll do that later. So that is just that strip from the stem from, um, going to set it off a little bit from the side here, a little bit low here. And I did rough this up a little bit with my distressor. Oh, I like that. And then I'm going to, you know, I'm going to make a word there later. I might add a little bit, uh, a, a small mushroom in the front. So I'm not done with this one yet. Because I um, I really cannot go over one this time. Because I really uh, need to go early. but um, Or I need to go at one. But uh, I have this one as well. You know, that might go. Am I going to add that here? You see, there's lots and lots of possibilities there. So I'm uh, going to make a small the uh Brown mushrooms at the bottom. I will finish this tonight. I will uh, work on this one as well with some text. Or, uh, so I'm going to do something like that. And I have two more boxes that I can decorate. If I to, no, I don't have time for that. I'm pretty sure. I also have those frames. Like I cut those from the pizza box. Which are cool. So lots and lots of cool stuff to work with. So I leave it with this. I'm not going to turn my camera around. Because then I make a mess. So um, I had fun. I hope you enjoyed it as well. And uh, thank you for watching, and I will be... Oh, wait, little sneak peeky, little sneak peeky. Oh, I ha actually have a pizza box as well with a new collection. Now, let me, you know, I was talking about, I'm going to show you this one. So this is... Da, 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 da. Look at that. That is from the new collection, Fables and Fairy Tales from Anya. So I absolutely love working on those so uh i will have a fantastic weekend so and i'll see you on monday and um working with the new collection and the sale is going on it ends monday night and the new release from anya will be going to stores on tuesday so thank you have a fantastic uh for here a labor day weekend if you need to travel travel safe and i hope everything is on time uh, check out uh, everything scrapbook and more for what's going on tomorrow uh, to help uh, um, Michelle and her mom out and um, have a wonderful weekend bye bye